Earth Binary Office. We are together today with the nice folks at Ancora Software. Hello, Bernard. Hello, John. How are you? <laughs> I am good. Well, as a quick introduction, Binary Office is a paper process automation company. We help our, our customers across the U.S. Uh, either completely get rid of paperwork in their office or, uh, if that's not possible, at least automate it and speed the paper process up. Today we're here to show you quickly a fantastic product for specifically accomplishing one paper problem, and that is how to automate OCR and scanning of paper invoices. And Binary Office, as a company, we, we have lots of products in, in our tool belt, so to speak, uh, to help automate paper processes of all different kinds. Uh, but when it comes to scanning and OCRing paper invoices, uh, we really like the Ancora Docs product from Ancora Software, and you'll see why in a minute. It's very simple to use, very automated. And uh, so I have Bernard with me from Ancora Software, and I'm going to let him drive. So I'm going to change presenters, Bernard, and let you yes. take over from here. Thank you, John. You're welcome. OK. Hello, everybody. I'm Bernard Morer from uh, Encora Software. Uh, I'm the Director of Professional Services. And I'm going to give you a, good, a quick demo of the system. Okay. So uh, basically, I'm going to bring up the, uh, the normal uh, screen, welcome screen uh, of the uh, uh, invoice uh, approved invoice processing system. Right off the bat, I'm just going to turn about, talk about welcome for the product. This product is right off of the box, uh, out of the box, and it only has, as you can see, only a general template that comes with the product. This template is just basically a white page with uh, yellow boxes in here. The yellow box corresponds to different fields, like a vendor, num vendor name, purchase order invoice number, and so forth, that the system is going to try to figure out an invoice that is never seen before. So there is a lot of algorithm, a lot of geometry, a lot of calculation, proprietary algorithm going on behind the scenes. That's going to allow us to, on the fly, recognize an invoice that the system has never seen. So let's start off the bat. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to not say anything, pretty much. I'm just going to process those three invoices. And these are run-on-the-mill invoices that you can find in the in 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 business. They are not too simple. They are not too complicated. Uh, but they are just the normal invoice that you would get from any vendor. So let's go ahead and introduce all the invoice to the system. And then we'll go back behind the scene and show you what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and add the pages like I would scan those pages. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and pick up the uh, a few, a couple of invoices here, three of them. I'm going to introduce them into the system. Here they are. Here is invoice number three, number two, number one. So I'm going to say those are uh, single document invoices, and I'm going to go ahead and do them into the system. And I'm going to process them, you know. And this is uh, this John here. This is actually one of the one of the neat things about Ancora Docs and what has really amazed us here at Binary Office, we've been in the in the business a long time and, and work with lots of different products, but right out of the box, uh, Ancora Docs with just the 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 magic, if you will, that that uh, Ancora Software has put into what they call their general template, and uh, the amazing thing that is that it it does allow you to process invoices that it's never seen before. So and it looks like we're ready there. It looks like Bernard. Yes. Ready? So I'm standing at the verify station. Thank you, John. And I have a blue a button that says, uh, you know, I have a job waiting for me. So as an operator, I just go ahead and 
to grab the invoice. And I'm just going to quickly process those invoices for you. I'm done. So this is quickly how quickly I can process invoices into our system that the system has never seen before. You see, it only took me a few seconds to process them. And a few strokes of the keys, I have everything ready and balanced and ready to export. Now, let's take a pause for a second here and go back behind the magic and see what happened. Remember when we had a, just a general template to start with? Now, look, the system has magically created on the fly, without any intervention from my end, custom templates for those are three invoices for vendors he has never seen before. So here are those templates here. Okay. So the beauty of it is that if I go ahead and reprocess a similar invoice, the, the system is going to automatically going to recognize everything within that invoice without intervention from my part, including the vendor name. See, the vendor name is already selected out. The way we do it is because we purposely, we found by experience that we purposely don't try with the OCR, the multiple OCR engines that we have, you know, and the voting mechanism. We purposely don't try to recognize vendor invoice because as you can see, a lot of those vendor, you know, have sophisticated graphics, you know, uh, making it tough for any, any OCR engine to try to recognize it. It just so happened that there is nicely a, a name next to it that we can recognize. So let's go ahead and, you know, module, let's go ahead and process another invoice here. And I'm going to take a different invoice. And I'm going to go ahead and process the Mason invoice again. This is a vendor, a different invoice from the same vendor. And I'm going to show you the power of the system. Now, when I'm going to queue this, uh, this invoice into the system, the system is going to, you know, is going to uh, process those, uh, that invoice. And instead of matching that invoice for the general template like you did before, you see, those first invoices were matched with the general templates because those are invoices that the system has never seen before. All of a sudden, you see that they match with template, and there is a specific name for the template, which is a template that actually was created for the Mesa invoice. So let's see what the system has done now. Once again, the blue light lights up for the operator to see that there is job waiting for him to do. And you see by magic, all of a sudden, you know, I no longer have to click to the vendor name. The vendor name is automatically recognized. So all you have to do is push a key that tells the system, show me if there is any problem with that invoice. The system says, no, there is no problem. Everything is in balance. So I can save that invoice. 